What is going on, guys? We're unboxing today. So, I'm not gonna do something totally like not related to the channel of uh, building statues first. Um, I am a big Power Ranger guy. So, along with statues, I collect a ton of Power Ranger stuff. Now, I really need to stick with the Mighty Morphin stuff. So, for instance, I actually just purchased recently. I got two original Dragon Zords unopened boxes. This is actually like super nostalgic to me. I actually bought two of them because I found them and they were relatively inexpensive. So these are the original Dragon Zords from when I was a kid. So it was really dope to find those. So I, I had to get those, but I collect a lot of Mighty Morphin stuff. And then occasionally when I find something I haven't seen, maybe as when I was a kid or just something wild to find right now, I have to buy it. So. Um, I picked up a couple of older pieces. I picked up the shark guy um, from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. I actually don't like it. It just kind of came in a set and it was only 10 bucks. Um, really cool. I actually got my last Power Ranger needed for the movie uh, five inch, what are these, five inch or six inch? Six inch series. So I actually got every single one of the original movie metallic ones. I'm so stoked to finish that one. Box is a little damaged, not a big deal. But then, now I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was a big Power Rangers Turbo fan, even though I have them, um, but I was a fan of the actual line of toys they had. So really cool. I got some super dope exclusive pieces for really dumb cheap. Um, I got the Pink Ranger Karate Chop action with a damn near mint card. I mean, the cards in these things are a little bend, but... These, some of these pieces came right out of the box, so I thought that was really awesome. Um, along with getting that, I actually was able to purchase, um, I mean, a, a ridiculously mint card. But this is the little kid who turned up to be like a girl, like he like mutated into like an old Power Ranger guy, like a full body guy, made no sense. And they also had an additional uh, Green Ranger as well. So I got the full set of the flip heads from Turbo. So I was really excited that I was able to uh, to make this come to life. So. Just a little sidebar for you guys, totally irrelevant to the channel. But, so, few, I got one big boob. That's so weird. I am down 17 pounds. I can almost see everything. So you see the abs forming? That's just fat, whatever. Tight shirt. I'm trying to fit. I'm fitting to an XL shirt. What do you want me to tell you? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm over the top. Okay. This is, believe it or not, my first custom from this company. Now, obviously... Uh, you know, we don't talk about the custom people and who they are. Um, Frank Tommy Anthony is one of my favorite custom uh, people to ever make them. Um, spoke to you guys in my last video when I built the Apocalypse statue. So, obviously I'm a huge Thanos guy. I say this in every single video. But what also brought me to, to being so obsessed with statues were two in particular characters. It was the Sideshow Apocalypse and then the Sideshow Rhino. Now... I had actually seen the Sideshow Rhino at one of my side Sideshow Rhino at one of my friends' places. He's one of my art designers, and he had it sitting on his setup. And I was like, "Yo, dude, that is awesome. Where'd you get it?" And he told me Sideshow, and ironically, I then bought Thanos on the Throne, and that's actually kind of how my whole collection started. But they didn't have any more Rhino. Uh, I've seen a couple of other people do them. Nobody really impressed me, but this particular custom company is hands down my favorite. Um, it's led by an incredible individual who um, not only we share the same political views, but he's also a really good guy and he works with his people. He's very stern because he tells you, yo, if you want this, it's got to be done like this and ba -ba 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 -ba, there's no bullshit. So uh, it's an honor to get my first piece from his group and I'm really happy to show it with you guys. Now, it oddly came shipped in two different boxes. I don't think I have the full statue. I, I don't, it looks like it could be. But it seems like a lot of people are posting the video that they got the statue, but they didn't really get the full statue. So I'm winging it. We're gonna put it together right now, and we're gonna we're gonna get busy. So, um, oh my god, this is sick. Oh, it's fucking heavy. Yo, this bot. Yo, stop it. So again, this is my first piece from these guys. Now, it's funny because I feel like XM stole. Oh, it's broken. Is it broken? No, that's that's how it's made. That's crazy. Um, 
I feel like XM stole this from this company because they're like damn near the same thing. But I'll tell you this, being at my first piece, I know that the artist himself, the way he designs things, he's very meticulous. A couple pieces I don't like, I am gonna address them, but for the most part, it looks badass. So let's keep going with this. Uh, I'm assuming that the bot, the base to this, oh, if you, if anybody remembers or you know what the original, um, wow, this is really cool. Very light too, which I, I do like a lot. Okay, it's backwards. Um, unlike the original Rhino from Sideshow, it was like this like hunched over, like big bull looking thing going like this, which I really thought was dope. And to be honest with you, it actually sold me on the piece, um, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Nobody's actually even selling it. So I, I guess it's called the OG Rhino. I'm not really uh, too sure on that. Now, this is one box out of two. The second box actually has all the different, has a stand because, well, I'll, I'll show you. Um, and I'm probably not gonna use this torso. So what's really cool about this company, about this piece is they set it up so that you could have two different torsos. It was an extra couple bucks to do it. And I just had to because it made so much sense. Um, the artist, I mean, if I know one thing about collecting over the past couple years now, I know that everyone's bitch and moan and gripe is about this scene line, this scene line, shut up. Just shut up. You sound stupid. Um, this has a very, very obvious scene line, but you're purchasing a statue that has a, a changing torso. I'll show you the scene line from the back. Let me see it from the front. Yeah, from the front, they covered it pretty well. And it's actually something I want to note. The seam line is right here by his abs. But if you look by his leg, it also looks like there's another seam line and there's not. The only reason why it's like this is because he's got his, his muscles are rolling over each other. So it actually looks great from the front. But most people would bitch and moan about things like that. Me, personally, um, I think that a lot of these pieces are art. So I don't get bothered by, um, you know, things like that. I, just don't, I, just, I kind of overlook all of them. So... All in all, this whole part of it is absolutely amazing. My disappointment is actually in the trunk section, which we'll get back to, but this looks crazy. Um, to me, it looks like an older cab. Like, I mean, if I was to, I mean, it doesn't look like a Crown Vic, but you can't get all details right. You can't get them all perfect. I think the most important part is the actual character. And the way his muscles are, the way his back is, the creator's a pretty big dude, so it might actually be his back. <laughs> But um, no, it really looks, it really is tight, and I can I can escape some of the flaws. But we'll go into them when we when we tighten up a little bit. Anyway, so it has. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I might be I might be biting my own. I might be kissing my own ass on this one because this is actually that goes there. Then this piece right here. I'm assuming is a door. And that must go, wait, what is this, a fender or a door? I'm probably not gonna take the time to look at this right this second, but this actually made up for, for one of the things I was about to bitch about, because I'm a little fairy. Um, okay, I'm sure somebody else in somewhere is gonna know where that goes. I'm not gonna waste the time, and not gonna waste your time trying to find it. Um, right here is part of the hood. Okay, I gotta find where it goes now. This is part of the hood. So I'm sure if the hood was to break open, this is the front of it. Yo, where is this thing? See, sometimes when statues have so much detail to them, you get lost trying to find where parts go. I'm definitely gonna have to follow up in that because I don't wanna take too long in the video. Now, this piece, again, it has a different torso and it comes with um, three or four change out heads. This is actually, this actually might be the head that I go with. And they did a really cool job on this. This is a badass head. I, I think already just by knowing what they have, I'm gonna stick with, let me try to get you some light on that. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it looks like a real face just right now, but he's got, it's it's got a, um, the, the lining of his, the grime on his gums are in there. The all blacked out eyes. 
the teeth, the tongue has little dots on it. The little uvula thing in the back of your throat is all hanging. So that's going to slide in. Ooh, that was tight. That just like sucked in. Again, I don't care about seam lines that I don't normally see when a statue is put together. But this statue came out sick. It is, that is the probably the only way that I can really say it. And like I was saying before, I, I didn't get into statue collecting because of this statue. I got into statue because I saw this statue and just thought, wow, how cool is this? Um, I'm sure I'm going to have to, oh, I see where one of them goes. This one actually goes in. I don't know where the hell, actually it doesn't go there. Which actually would explain a lot because I was I was a little frustrated on the way that this laid out, but I, I think that's actually how it goes in. Yeah, it does, it goes there. Um, I'm probably gonna have a little more trouble finding this one. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Um, yeah, this makes the old Rhino that that originally want, made me wanna buy, and I guess I'm right. This, this is what started me on buying statues is pieces like this. And this custom piece is just what I wanted. Now, I can't wait to get the second part of it, which some people got in reverse. This is the full statue. Some people only got the, the change out. So my change outs are scheduled to come in the 16th. So I'm happy to review this one as is. I might do a video for you guys with the change outs. If you want, comment below and I'll be happy to do that video as well. Uh, I'm just a little annoyed. I don't know where the hell it's weird because it's the hood, and you would think it goes like on his feet or something, but yeah, I don't. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be phoning a friend on this one. Um, anyway, super dope piece. Let me give you guys a little bit of a close up on it to show you how badass it is. I mean, look at that. Look at that pose. That's just wild. Now, I was telling you guys about the seam lines, but look, it looks like it fits into the wrinkles, so that's great to me. Now, where you see the seam line is up here, but who cares? Like anybody that bitches about that, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're you're dumb, okay? Now, I was telling you guys also about the seam line and the waistline, but look, the way that the abs go down on it, it I just touched this peach video. The way the abs are on it, you don't even see it. Now, yes, you see it right there, but who? I think that the designer of this had actually said once, it is what it is, deal with it. And I don't blame him for saying that because it's not that easy to just throw these statues around and make everything come to life. It, there's, there's a lot more to these statues than just throwing them in and making a cool piece. I mean, we have NYC sewer caps now here. Now, I don't, know, I don't know how many New Yorkers I have out here, but guys, look at this New York cab. Completely decimated. I don't know how good the XM one looks. I don't care. But this one to me is just all around badass. Um, the actual thing I was going to be a little bitch about, oh, I found, oh, I found where it goes, I found it. Okay, hold on. This actually goes back to what I was saying. Hold the effing phone. Okay, we're going to, we have to remove this. Okay. Um, oh, stop being a dick. This goes right... Okay, so something I was complaining about before, actually, I can't complain about because this piece, okay, I don't like how this fits. That is, that is where it goes though, um, right? Yeah, it's supposed to fit in there like that, but the, I have a little problem with the foot sitting. Okay, there's no magnet in it, which is, I'm not going to complain about it too much because I can't expect everything from overseas and these crazy times that we live in to be 100% perfect. But I was making a comment before about a couple things I wasn't too happy with, and that ironically was one of them, was the look of the, the back of the feet. Now, oh shit. 
Now we got a complete statue. So back to what I was doing. Um, I was complaining. So I did a review on the three uh, uh, Sentinel pieces. And I was really complaining about the dust and how there's no detail to it. My stupidity, along with some other things I think are stupid, I'm just more stupid than the average bear. However, I take back what my gripe was because of two reasons. One, I didn't like the, what was going on underneath the hood over here. I thought it was very bland, wasn't enough detail, but guess what? Now when you look at it, you just see the parts in the inside. Before, you can see the parts exposed. I didn't like the way that looked. The second thing I had a problem with, well, and again, not a problem, I just didn't like it, was the trunk. You could actually see what was in the trunk, and the trunk looks very minor. So what I was looking at was that. And it still looks good, but once I added this piece on, now it wipes it away and we're all good. Uh, it's This piece is awesome. And again, seam lines, guys. It happens. You cannot control it sometimes. In this case, where you couldn't... Oh, Riley, I'm sorry. Where you can't see it in the front, you do see it in the back. But you have no choice because the piece is so massive and it also comes out with a switch, with a switch out um, torso. It's going to happen. No big deal. Totally love it either way. I think this piece is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Um... I am curious to see what it's going to look like after I see the other torso with the other heads. There's one head I don't like. It's actually on the box. There's no name on the box, right? Okay, I can't show you the box because the name of the company is on the box. But um, I don't like the face of the other head, so I'm never going to use it. It's like this. He's like, I got it. I think it looks stupid. But this piece is phenomenal. It really is. Um, if you guys have any questions, like and subscribe. Feel free to contact me at any time. I'd be more than happy to help you guys in any way, shape, or form with anything I do with any of my posts and any of the ones you see behind me or anywhere else in the room. Uh, I don't know everything about this stuff. I certainly don't, but I do love to talk about it. So anyway, guys, have a great day. Have a great week. I got to go lose more weight at the gym because I'm a fatty. Uh, I'm stoked. This is my first custom from this company, and I couldn't be happier. Check me out, guys. Like and subscribe. Contact for more content. Yo, I'm sweating. I am foul. Ugh, I'm a beast. Oh, God.